That was a quote from Virus 404 a character existing within the True God verse. The character was originally was similar to an Error 404 clone when it first started. Cur currently however he is not a clone anymore of Error 404. On the page he is described to be an insane god that serves Fortran and an omnipotent entity within True God verse. It also states that he is part of the virus family being their leader and thought of to be a low high perversal entity. Now let us see if he holds up to the claims by looking at the backstory provided on his page. It starts with Fortran creating virus 404 called Jack there and sending it to the fandom. He would smuggle Jack into an O called Fallout Tale. As that AU has a lack of connection with other existence. Fortran injected the raw conceptual form of Virus 404 into the AU which caused chaos on the land. However that would be how Virus 404 would be born with madness and loyalty already in his mind towards Fortran. Fortran would then manipulate Virus 404 by showing him to whom he should be loyal to, his abilities and purpose by whispering to his dreams and daydreams of his. Virus 404 now having been taught through a taco party and turned the sun into a disco ball. He would pull random objects from vortexes he created and even create a small Roman Empire for no reason but just because he can. Even forcing other people he took from other AUs to watch My Little Pony. He would make himself grow to the size of a celestial body or play pool with the solar system. The party only stopped because Virus 404 destroyed the AU as he got bored from it. Virus 404 would then be in Rescue Tale and split his conscious around that AU replacing everyone. The story would continue with him later annoying Error 404 when he found out he isn't the only 404 but later stopped when more 404s popped up as he wanted to go beyond himself and not be another 404. The story ends with Virus 404, getting the Omni key and object that even Fortran wishes to have however, Virus 404 would unintentionally use it and realize after most his weaknesses were gone why fortran wanted the key as we can see in the story virus 404 has the ability of reality warping portal creation and large size type 5 to 6 only getting up to high universal if we use his backstory only however there is another canon story following the adventure of virus 404 i will only show however the feats he has done there he is able to spread himself around making and causing with it things to look like him. He would then throw Mother Virus to a different plane of existence which then shattered every parallel AU to get destroyed that branched off from where the two are in. Then everything would laugh from trees up to space and time itself would all just laugh. Being stronger than Jack would kill themselves because of the laughter if they have not been transformed to one of him. These beings would then melt away with the same thing happening to the universe with the infinite alternate universes that were branching off from it. Jack would then fold them all millions of time like a sheet of paper. After all of it he just decides to teleport away to a different plane of existence and traverse space and time to meet a character called King Drosgar. Jack seems to have a higher rank than King Drosgar but even then after Jack annoying him continuously even throwing a pie at his face. Drosgar moved then so fast that the air turned to plasma. But Virus 404 moved infinitely faster than Drosgor. Drosgor would throw a cloud of annihilation towards Jack but the attack itself wouldn't do anything to Jack and with ease Drosgor would get defeated with the planet and other planets and solar system being destroyed. Virus 404 teleported then back to his personal domain shutting the door of his room with telekinesis and having plushies, a body pillow and wallpaper about error 404. So, he likes him as much like as a BTS fan maybe. Near the end of the story he would warp reality and destroy concepts just to show Mother Virus what proper defense is as she had just gone into Virus 404 room while he was writing a fan fiction. That is the summary of the second canon story. As we saw there Jack gets more feats there. From scaling to simple high universal to a high multiversal being with infinite speed, teleportation, telekinesis and getting concept manipulation type 1 with his reality warping. Sadly however Jack doesn't get to low high perversal but still he is still stronger than most characters in the true god verse as at least he has real feats. That's all for today the next long part will be about a game called Corrupted Kingdom 18 plus game where I will try to the verse and certain beasts to at least low complex multi.